So, just lay these on here, square them up a little bit. And uh, just remember you're not building a piano, you're building a chicken coop. And I think that looks beautiful. So I know that there's probably three or four different ways you could have done this, but I think just trying to keep that bow that we wanted coming up like like that with the roof, I, I thought about using some thinner lumber and just pulling it in and nailing it, getting the bow that I wanted, but I want it to be a little bit uh, structurally sound too, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Uh, what I will do in, in the end after after we get done making all these is just come back and notch it out for a one by three so I've got some nailers in here I don't know how many yet but that's the plan notch it out and uh, make it so that I can nail some thin plywood to it and then put some paper and shingles on it there they are finished they'll need to be trimmed accordingly how the ends have to go I'm not sure and the top can't just stay like that obviously but three of them, one for each end, one for the middle. I think that will be plenty for a four by six. So I guess I'll start uh, drawing up some little plans for framing the uh, end walls. Kind of got a plan uh, before I started this to rip these two by sixes in half. I just got a little ahead of myself. I was gonna make the walls and start cutting some and realize in order to get the right angles I gotta rip all these things first and then do a little thinking so I'm gonna rip all this stuff up in half and uh, once I'm all done we'll start the angles and the walls and the end walls short side here I measured uh, 27 inches should have been 30 knocking off for the bottom plate and the top plate and uh, 11 degree angle seemed to give me what I wanted I wanted it to be sticking out about six seven inches on the side and I did the same on this one 11 degrees I think the total height was 33 should have been 36 with my bottom plate and top plate and uh, I think it looks proportionate so now I'm gonna lay these two pieces or this piece down on the ground with the uh, trusses that I made back here and uh, maybe I'll slide this back so we can see it better and lay it out see what it looks like I've got it pretty much laid out uh, it did fit just a little bit better a second ago I started messing with it again but basically, I've got these notched out. I've got my walls done and angles done. And uh, it looks pretty good. It's coming along like I wanted it to. Um, so now, one thing you gotta remember is if you're gonna have a, a top plate, you wanna make sure that you're notching for those. And it's a little tricky with the angle coming up. I didn't do that good of a job there, but it's a chicken coop, it'll be fine. So. Now I've got to uh, use these as my templates and notch the rest of them and then build the other end wall and I can put it together and see how it kind of squares up, I guess. <laughs> Not really much square on this thing. The bottom, the bottom is square, so that's where I'm taking measurements from. I've got uh, the front and the back walls done. They look pretty good. I'm gonna put the top plates on and the bottom plate and that will square everything up and I'll be able to actually lift that all up in one section and set it down onto the floor I just have it up there for ease of working and it's a good stopping point so I figured I'd stop and show you I've got all of my pieces back here notched out and cut how I'm supposed to and uh, I think I'm all set top plate bottom plate square this all up set it on the ground and 
put the roof on. Bottom plate is in. It's not nailed down to the platform yet because we have to take the platform out outside. We got to take it out to uh, where we're going to put it and the roof height will not clear up here. So I'm going to have to build the, the framing in here off from the, the platform and then put it up on it before I do all the siding and get it heavy. But uh, top plates are on. Uh, this is all two by six ripped in half so far. That's what I've used for, for this framing. So I'm going to set it down and see if we can't get the roof in place a little bit and go from there. Are finished for today. This is what I've got. Uh, this is just screwed in with one screw on the sides. And um, that's a temporary plate up there. One of these boards that I've ripped out of uh, an old cedar tree that fell down on our property a couple years ago. I'm going to use that for the beam up top. And it's going to rest right on that, that little nailer right there. Little whatever brace for now I guess it is. But it's going to sit right on top of that. But basically, uh, I'm stopping today because I think the next thing I need to do is before I put these up permanent is notch out for my 1x3s so that I can have something to nail to. I'm not sure how many I'll put in there. I'm just going to go from the top and space it out, see how much they are, and go from there. But that's basically it. You can see it's pretty small. I'll set the camera back here. Okay, you have to, uh, you have to imagine that it's going to be up two foot off from the ground and the door is going to be about 20 inches wide or so. It's about that wide, I think. And a little window over here, a little crooked window, I think. But I'm picturing the door real short, but as you step up a couple of steps to get into it, you pull it open, you can go right in there. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to build a box on the side, I've got it all in my head how I want to do it, but I'm going to build a box on the side for the, uh, for the nesting boxes and I want to be able to access that from the outside. So basically this door will just be for cleaning and it will be big enough you can get in, but it's not an entryway you're running in and out of every day or anything like that. So I was going to uh, call it a day, and I decided not to. Um, I was at a decent spot to stop, but I had stuff cut out, and I wanted to see what it would look like. So this is the final uh, thing for today. Um, these pieces all came out pretty good, and I was going to wait and notch them out on the, the um, platform back there. It would be easier, but... And I got this one on, I started thinking it, it's not going to be too bad, it's not that high. And uh, I can put a 1x3 up there and make a mark and notch where I want it to go. Uh, so I figured I'd just do the, do the other ones and get them all up. So they are up. I think tomorrow I might do some notching for the 1x3s or I might just go ahead and finish up these walls and brace in here a little bit for the door and a window and get the framing kind of done get it all together a little bit uh, that's about it it's a good day took me a while to figure out these curves and everything I showed you how I did them I've got no measurements I put pieces of wood on it and laid it on the floor and kept tinkering until it got to be the shape that I liked I am gonna measure everything before I go ahead and put siding on it. That way I can make a set of plans and uh, maybe help somebody else out if they want to do something like this. All right. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.